Hi, Carlos Paterno, back with immigration law, demystifying and simplifying immigration law. And we're back to video number two on green card marriage interview questions. The, this set of immigration videos has been created for those of you who are getting ready to go to a permanent residency interview or those of you who are thinking about filing for a green card. These questions are designed to help you get ready for your big interview. We're going to discuss four more topics. If you didn't get the first video, go back and catch video one. We discussed four different topics. But right now, you might want to get a pencil and pen and some paper because we're going to go through these four topics rather quickly. Um, but they're going to give you a quick interview, what you need to know before you go to the interview. So let's get started. So in the last video, we discussed four topics. We discussed uh, the topic areas of how you met, um, employment, your employment, your spouse's employment, um, your current home, and special days and vacations. I also discussed in that video some of the red flags that the government looks to looks for, um, such as if you're from different nationalities, different races, or there's a big age gap, or sort of targeted nationality groups. You know, here's an example uh, of a, a red flag case. An individual came to my case and yeah, came to my office, and he was, you know, in his young 20s. Um, he had a wife, and she was in her young 30s, but there was a good 10-year gap there. And he was a very straight-looking guy coming from a different country. He was very clean-cut. He was very reserved. And she came in, you know, with a lot of tattoos and wild hair, and she had a couple of children already. And they were different nationalities. And so it was, I knew the moment they walked in, this is a red flag case. It's going to get a lot of scrutiny from the government. So I had to watch those telltale signs because, as I told you, when I was a rookie, I got duped once, and I wasn't going to ever get duped again. But this couple proved to me that they were legitimate, which meant that we're going to go forward and we're going to win the green card for them. So that's the type of red flag situation that you have to look out for. So let's go forward now. Wedding and marriage. Questions about your wedding and marriage. And this couple, by the way, had a very strange wedding and marriage because they didn't really have any friends in common. And that's a question. Your wedding and marriage. Who went to your wedding? You had friends? Did you, did you have a reception? Oh, what, what kind of cake was served at the reception? Was it alcohol? Did anybody make a fool of themselves? on the dance floor in general. Did your parents go? Why not if they didn't go? Did you have a honeymoon afterwards? Or did you stay beyond the time that your guests left and you had to clean up the hall or whatever place you had your reception at? That's the kind of questions they're gonna ask here on wedding and marriage and much more as I told you. I wish I could call this series the complete guide to marriage interview questions, but I can't. Because for whatever questions I come up with, there's at least three times as many that could be devised. And they're really common sense questions. But if you don't think about them, and that's the problem, and that's what this video is geared to help you do, think about them in advance, the types of questions, so at least you can get your head rolling ahead of time. And the two of you can even talk and uh, think about it. What about your kitchen? You have a microwave in your kitchen? So the windows in your kitchen, are they behind the microwave or are they in front of the microwave? Um, do you drink coffee in the morning? What type of uh, coffee pot do you have? What's your favorite breakfast meal? What's your husband's favorite breakfast meal? What's your least favorite food? What's your spouse's least favorite food? Those are the types of questions that they're going to ask. And as I told you in the first video, if you're separated and there's an inconsistency there, that could lead to some problems. In fact, it's going to lead to some big problems. And I'm going to share an example with you in just a moment. The third topical area here is your bedroom. Okay. Um, what side do you sleep on of the bed? The left or the right? What side does your spouse sleep on? Left or the right? Which way do you guys turn your heads? Oh, do you have a carpet in your living room? Oh, do you, is there a... Um, uh, uh, a restroom, a shower, a shower room connected to your to your bedroom, or do you have to go out the door into the hallway to another room? Are there windows in your bedroom? Is there a sliding door? Um, 
What kind of blankets do you have? What color are your blankets? What color are your shades? Is there a lamp? Are there lamps? Does your spouse sleep with a lamp on? Do you sleep with a lamp on? Do you guys watch TV before you go to bed? Whole bunch of questions could be asked on this topic. And you have to be ready for them. Any, again, let me, let me say this. If you're a legitimate married couple with a bona fide marriage, and that's the term, legal term, you don't have nothing to worry about. You'll get the majority's right. It's better to talk about it in advance so you, you know, it goes a little smoother. Um, because you can slip up and too many slips can cause some suspicion. But, um, if you're a legitimate couple, you're gonna move through these questions. But, a lot of people are so, whoa, shaky, oh, I'm scared, I'm scared. And especially an immigrant who may not be strong in the English language, it's gonna create a little more problem. And, and if, if either one of you is more a reserve type, um, that doesn't like to reveal certain things, uh, they can ask you some questions, um, that you might think is invading your privacy, but really they consider them legitimate questions to weed out fact from fiction, whether you're telling the truth or whether it's a fraud. So just know that, okay? Just before the interview. Oh, that's a good line of questioning. I, I had a couple at an interview a few years ago, and um, they, the government contested the relationship. Why? They were from different nationalities and relatively different ages. They had met, um, uh, the woman worked um, at a place next door to where this in, the male owned his own business. And so they met, they started dating, they went out. However, the male was from the Middle East, and that's one of those nationalities that the government's going to look at. It's one of those red flag nationalities, sad to say, but it is. It's true. And the woman um, was from uh, a Central American country, okay? And her English was not the greatest English, but, you know, good English, but shaky and, you know, with a strong accent. And she had a child. And so it was like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. This fellow and this woman you know, mismatched nationalities, slight age difference. This guy's a successful businessman. She's a clerk in the store next door. Well, wait a minute, is this a real marriage? And so they were forced into the, the fraud interview. And at the interview, they were separated. And I'm sitting there and the, the female client went first, uh, the immigrant, and her aunt, what, what'd you eat? What'd you eat last Saturday? Oh. We, had, we went out for pizza. Oh, where'd you go? We went to this restaurant. Okay. And did your, did your husband have a drink? Yeah, I had a glass of wine. And what about yesterday? What'd you guys do? Oh, we went to the movies and so on and so forth. So they went on. They got him because it was like a Wednesday day interview. They get to the husband. He's separate. Well, what'd you, what'd you do for dinner Saturday? Oh, I went out with my friends and you know, we had some, you know, we went, you know, we were watching uh, a game at, a wing stop or a chicken wing place, and we had some chicken wings. And, oh, what about Sunday? What'd you do? Oh, well, you know, my my uh, my wife went to church, and um, um, I went to uh, the baseball game with my friends, and um, and so it was like I'm sitting there saying, "Oh, not again, Carlos! Come on, well, you got fooled again! Wait a minute! Wait a minute!" And so the government then produced these documents for them to sign. They wanted to argue. And I, I mean, I was, I, was, I just looked at them and gave them that look. And, and I asked them, I had to sort of walk you back in. What, 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 what gives, guys? And they had told me that they had separated three weeks before. And they had never told me. And so they didn't spend the last weekends together. They didn't spend the last days. They weren't divorced, but they needed some chill out time. And so they took it, but they never told me. Now, had they told me, we would have approached that interview differently. But no, they thought that, hey, you know, it's just an interview and we can get through it. And boy, we had to do a lot of work to salvage that case for them. Um, but they survived. Um, they came back together as a couple. They survived. They were a real couple, but they made the dumb mistake of not talking to their lawyer and telling them what was going on. And they made an even worse mistake going to an interview and trying to pull this off, thinking the questions would be so ordinary that they could just fly through them. It was a disaster for them. But, uh, you know, cost them to do a lot more work, a lot more attorney's fees and a lot of other stuff. But they survived and they're a couple. And, and the last time I heard from them, they were still happily married. So 
Um, that's just before the interview. I mean, those are the types of questions they can ask you. Um, what did you do last evening? Did your spouse go to work? Um, where did you eat dinner? What about two days before? What about three days before? Um, did you go to the movies? Did you take some time off? What about last weekend? What did you do last weekend? What did you do on Saturday? Did you guys spend together time on Sunday? Look, all those are very legitimate questions. And all of those, you know, are, are viable questions to be asked. And if you're a real couple, you should have no trouble with such questions. Assuming you're not like this couple that, you know, we're going through a trial separation and they still decide to try to plow through their interview, um, won't work, okay? And that's the same thing if you're trying to commit fraud. Don't do it. I mean, one, it's it's 100% wrong. But two, you're an immigrant. That's just the worst thing. Whoever advised you to do that is is, is really stupid advice, okay? And, and I say that openly. Uh, because it is. It's wrong. Don't do it. If you're going to get your papers in this country, you do it legitimately. Anyway, hey, if you like this video, or um, press the like button, pre hit, hit like below. If you want to send me some comments about the content, send me some comments. If you like the channel, feel free to subscribe. And at the end of the next, and at the end of the next video, we'll complete a twelve of these. So um, hopefully, I see you back here at the end of uh, the third video. Um, there'll be a link below um, afterwards anyway, after I do the third video so that you can link to it. But you know, faith, feel, feel free um, to um, shoot your questions. Carlos at PatraImmigrationLaw.com. If you have ideas for other videos, things you'd like me to explain to you, go ahead. Um, let's see if I can demystify it for you. Let's see if I can simplify it for you. Anyway, have a great day and I'll be talking to you again soon. Thanks for watching. Know someone who might be interested in this video? Then please take a moment to like and share it with them. Also, if you would like more videos on immigration, just click on the subscribe button. And here's a little bonus, a short guide that you can download for free by clicking on the link on the description box or the square shaped image. Plus, if you have ideas for videos you'd like to see, write a short comment below or feel free to contact me at carlos at batarimmigrationlaw.com. My name is Carlos Batara. I appreciate your time and hopefully we'll be talking again very, very soon.